Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons. This is going to be part number nine. Now, before we get into the actual gameplay, if you don't want to hear me blab, by the way, feel free to, you know, skip forward through this video, um, and then, you know, I'll start playing or whatever. But I just want to kind of keep you updated with what's going on because I accidentally uh, skipped a part. Meaning, I was filming number nine, Little did I know that the mic wasn't plugged in, so this whole entire time I was flapping my lips. I was literally <laughs> talking to myself. So, whatever, it's okay. My whole fall season was completely and utterly jacked up, to say the least. But uh, it is the first day um, of winter here in Twinbrook, and as you can see, over the night we got a beautiful um, snowfall. So let me go ahead and just kind of show you a quick overview um, of what Twinbrook looks like with a little bit of snow on it. Now, it's just a light dusting. It's like not that serious quite yet. Uh, I also got Monte, 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 Monte Vista and I put the Alfresco Street Market um, up here. So maybe we will visit that later. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like. And I will just tell you guys what did happen. What the hell? Why isn't it? Uh, oh, come on, son. Seriously? Okay, there we go. Um, I'll tell you what happened in part nine. So Jake, um, as you can see, he got a tattoo, which was requested. I picked up the dragon because I felt like that really matched his personality. Um, Taryn is officially a part of the family. She moved in. Um, they threw a very unsuccessful, extremely boring feast party. So uh, Kirsten here met a few new Sims. Um, she actually met Marcino or Marciano. I think Marcino is alien in Spanish, um, which I had no idea when I named him that. So anyway, <laughs> she met him. Casey met a couple new guys. She met uh, Thomas, the earless, the earless boy, because his little ears are missing. I don't know what happened to those. And um, she also met the guy with too much ears. Uh, actually, well, she did meet him, but for some reason, it's not showing up here. Okay, anyway, so that's what happened. Uh, as you can see, because Taryn moving in, we, mo we earned a buttload of money. Uh, we actually got a few gifts um, from one of my online friends. Um, I sold it, so <laughs> never mind. Uh, Blue-eyed babe, she sent a couple things in the mail, like pretend, you know, like you can send gifts to your friends on The Sims. Yeah, well, she sent me... Um, uh, three things and then one of them was actually this little treadmill here which we kept the other ones we did sell it actually looks like I have a another um, something in the mail here so I'm gonna go ahead and accept gift from friend and we will see what that gift is actually because Jake's the first one up I will have him do it and then while he's out there he can pay the bills it is 514 in the manana uh, it's actually 30 degrees outside, and as you can see, not a lot of snow going on. Um, we had three pumpkins, but Jake got upset. I don't know, testosterone was running high um, and smashed one of our pumpkins. So we're just going to delete these because, like, we really... It's not necessary. We, we don't need these. Um, oh, hold on. Okay. It says, <laughs> blue-eyed babe, three five seven six yeah this is the one that's been giving me the guess she's like thanks for the gift back i really love your let's plays and so i will accept and um okay so i received the reflectinator which is pretty cool um i'll handle that later thank you so so much girl is making me rich over here um anyway what was i saying i don't know girl oh jeez totally forgot what i was gonna say uh, welcome to my last place. Anyway, moving on. So I also decorated the house because I had some money, uh, which is a fantastic feeling, by the way. I got a new TV, um, got a bigger table, got the Christmas tree, some stockings, and I downloaded these lights here from the Sims 3 resource. Uh, so if you're wondering where I got those lights, that is where I got them. I'm actually going to set up the house lights right now. Because uh, I don't think I did that. And holy crap, look at all of the snow on the roof. And isn't that pretty? Oh, a little deer. And if you're wondering what this honking building is, it's actually the um, 
Stones Throw Greenhouse. Yeah, I didn't create that name, so. Mm -hmm. That's the one that we have here. We have a new venue next to our house. <laughs> what the hell am I saying? I don't know. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do holiday house lights. Get super duper festive. I like the hanging ones better. Um, not really sure about preference, but I love the multicolored ones. They match the ones in the inside, so we will go ahead and do that. Uh, Jake needs to eat some food. Hopefully, uh, school is closed for the kids so they can enjoy this um, beautiful snow day. Uh, what is Taryn doing? She's eating leftover waffles, and we seriously have a buttload of leftover food to choose from, so... Um, thank God <laughs> Jake got the treadmill because he's going to be working out sun, um, big time. And I don't know what she's doing, running around in her chonies, acting like she is the ish. But I don't know. I think Taryn is super duper 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 pretty. Uh, if you're curious as to how, um, Kirsten handled the news about Taryn moving in, it came to quite a surprise. She's super duper freaking jealous, and her little plan to make Jake jealous is to get a boo. Um, and how awkward would it be for it to be Marcino? Like, seriously. I'm going to name Mark, because Marcino's just creeping me out now ever since it means alien in Spanish. I don't know. Whatever. But yeah, I don't know. She needs to seriously date somebody, because it's been a minute and a half, and... um. I don't know. She needs some loving, too. So, here's Casey is up. She's going to have some leftover something or other. I don't know how to say that name. <laughs> due to the heavy snow day this morning, or due to the heavy snow this morning, today has been declared a snow day. Therefore, canceled for the day. Sweet deal. Uh, Connor will finally remember the first time he experienced the great joys of childhood, the snow day. So sweet. They don't have to go to school, so you know they are going to live it up outside. Um, I was like, who the hell is flushing that toilet? Oh, hey, Connor. Um, so, yeah, they're going to go outside and enjoy the snow. Probably go to a park because um, in my first attempt in filming Part 9, there's not enough room to do a lot of activities. So, that's um, lame, to say the least. I think Jake needs to go to work. Um, yeah, eight hours. Taryn is currently unemployed. I probably should tell you a little bit about her, if you're wondering. Um, so yeah, she's a Gemini. Her favorites are songwriter, music, vegetarian, vegetarian, <laughs> vegetarian chili, and she loves the color spice berry. Her traits are flirty, easily impressed, charismatic, athletic, and she's a diva girl. Mm hmm. And I think that's pretty much it. All right. We'll have, Jake looks pretty happy, so I'm going to oh, listen to flirtatious joke. I also got the mistletoe, by the way, um, from what you call it, season, so that's pretty damn exciting. I don't know what she's saying. No, 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 no. Don't go to school. Don't do it, girlfriend. Uh, we'll have Casey hurry up. Um, clean herself up. Connor's gonna grab a bite to eat. And then we'll have Taryn um, make a snowman with Jake really, really, really quick because they have not like played in the snow or done anything really like romantically together. Um, <laughs> poor Kirsten is dreaming away her life here. She actually needs to get up. And then have She's some. Like, Can I hey. Should we eat? Can I say it, we will snack My. on some motherfucking pumpkin pie. Yes, we will. And um, hopefully, Taryn will not go outside in her like Spanx. She wants to break a leaf pile, learn the charisma skill. What's she doing? She's like flexing her guns. All right, so they're gonna go outside and. Um, build a snowman together. So I guess this looks like a pretty good spot. Um, Connor skipped school on a field trip day. Listen here, Scotty Dog McGee. It's a freaking snow day. So they're getting all, you know, scrumptily umptious on each other, building a snowman. Uh, I don't know if Kirsten finally woke up. She's actually having um, some pumpkin pie. She looks very upset. Like, she's just completely unhappy right now. Um, she actually did get a wish to go ahead and um, 
whatchamacallit, get a kiss under the mistletoe. So I know that is definitely going to be one of our goals is to get some, get some, to get some, to get Kirsten, no, try again, mm. to have Kirsten get some action. There we go. All right. So I think everyone is pretty much good. Connor's good. Casey is good. Uh, let's go ahead and visit the Alfresco um, street market just to check it out real quick. Um, we'll go with Connor because I know there's like a lemonade stand and then there is like a new kind of like veggie cart and you can actually like tend it. I don't know if you make any money or anything, but yeah, that's cool. So let's see. Uh, we'll have Kirsten. Um, let's see. We'll have her find the newspaper. What the hell? That's creepy. <laughs> well, where the hell is the freaking newspaper? Oh, there we go. Okay. Wow. Which one shall I choose? Uh, which one's the good one? Uh, we will check the weather, and then I'm going to go ahead and toss these bad boys. While she is checking the weather, um, we're going to have Jake kind of work on his athletic because his performance seriously is sucking hardcore at work. Tara needs to get a job. Uh, she wants to work or become a international super spy. So that means she needs to join the law enforcement career, which we will happily have her go do right now if I can find the police station. So that is that. I think they have finally arrived at the El Fresco market. Nope, they are trucking through the snow. So the forecast for uh, Twin Buck for the next few days is... Um, Tuesday is snowing, Wednesday snow, Thursday snow, Friday actually looks like it'll be a sunny day. Um, wow. Saturday is heavy snow and then we have light snow. So let's hurry up and go see what the hell these kids are up to. I love the snow. Like out of all of the seasons, and I think I've played pretty much every one, I think snow is by far my favorite. Uh, Taryn Hobbs is starting to feel a little bit ill. So yeah, I think I think I think winter's my favorite. I don't know. What do you guys think? What is your favorite season so far? Um, let me know in the comments down below. So let's just check this this little bad boy out. Um, again, this is the Al Fresco Mart. This came with Mont Mont Monte Mont Monte Vista. I have not gotten a chance to play with anything. Oh, those icicles are really, really pretty. But, you know, this is kind of cool just to check it out in the snow to see what it looks like. Uh, these are the little um, fruit stand, veggie stands, whatever. Uh, and then we have the uh, pretty cool little, um, what is this, lemonade stand. So that would be kind of fun to do in the uh, summertime. Also some chess tables and things like that. We're actually going to purchase... Um, some stuff from the veggie cart and then while she's doing that we'll let uh connor here make a snow angel the presence of crime is evident in all societies and it's up to a few brave sims to protect and serve the law enforcement career requires peak physical conditioning shrewd analytic analytical abilities and the right attitude close ties w and close ties with a partner she will be making forty dollars an hour and her hours actually do not suck so i am more than happy to uh accept that career she's feeling like crap and a half so maybe we should um go really 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 quick two hundred dollars to get the flu shot uh she also wanted to become a firefighter which is a little bit strange. She also wants to join the political career. Um, she wants to literally be like a jack of all trades. Hang holiday house lights. We already did that. Uh, so we'll have a run over there. Um, Casey here is, what is she doing? Looks like she is looking at the fruits and she is going to snag one. Oh, so basically we can consign our fruits too, which is kind of cool. Uh, there is all of these available. Oh my gosh, a palmella? I've never even seen that before. A life fruit? Ooh, that is exciting. You can even buy life, like, life fruit. It is late, you guys. Don't judge me. Um, and a whole bunch of other things. Let's see. Oh, we can get cherries. This is so exciting. White caps? What the hell is that? Uh, alright, so I'm not really seeing anything that I want. I mean, I don't even know what the hell is doing anyway, but I just kind of wanted to see what was happening. So, um, nothing there. Connor made a 
interesting snow angel. He's actually stepping on the head right now. We'll have them play around. Let's go ahead and... Um, why aren't they in their outerwear? They're all going to catch colds. Uh, we will have a snowball fight with Connor Springston. And Taryn is getting her shot here. Oh, we froze again. Okay, so she's getting her shot. After her shot, uh, there isn't enough flat space to have a fight here. Okay, well then what the hell ever then? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. After we have her go do that, we're gonna go hit up the, the local, um, spa. I actually turned the spa from a rabbit hole to an actual usable venue using, um, the sunlit tides, like, massage table and stuff like that and also using um the tanning booth that came with season so i'll show you guys once she gets there but i just want to make sure that uh kirsten's okay so after she goes to the bathroom she actually has to go to work but before we do that we're gonna give marcino because he's actually quite cute you know what i'm saying uh we'll give him a little chatteroonie and then after that we will actually have her um go to work because she needs to do that and then I think Jake is on his way he needs to use the potty but we earned uh we maxed out what we needed for the um athletic skill so hopefully he will actually start going in the um, positive direction and Casey is making a <laughs> a snow angel uh they have to do homework nope but they're good so we'll have them actually We'll have them come back home because there isn't any winter festival or anything quite yet. And then we'll go ahead and check on Taryn to see if she has arrived at the day spa yet. So when this bad boy decides it wants to load, I will show you. No, we are not going to Egypt. We be broke bitches. Um, so yeah, when it loads, I will show you guys what it looks like. Okie dokie, artichoke. So this is what it looks like. Um, just kind of like that. The same thing. As in Sunlit Tides, the pool, the bed outside, I actually added a hot tub and a shower for the outside. Obviously, you wouldn't be taking a shower when it is snowing outside. That's just kind of a no-brainer, but I'll let you guys take a peek inside. Uh, so I have the sauna room over here, the spray tan booth, uh, massage table. So if there is Sims around, you can get massages from them or you can also get one yourself. But We'll have her actually get a spray tan for $90 because it is winter and she'd be pastier than a polar bear. So she definitely needs to get her tan on. Um, maybe even Snooky status. I don't know. So hopefully it will turn out and it is $90 um, to actually get a spray tan, which I think is extremely expensive, actually. So she's changed into her bikini, obviously, and she's about to hop on in. I'm not exactly sure how long this takes, but actually it looks like it's stopped um, snowing. And I think it's so freaking pretty, like, that the little, like, snow crystals glisten on the hill, like, in real life. Are those power lines? Oh, no, those are railroad tracks. Okay, so let's see how her t mm, spray tan turned right. out. She is glowing like a pot of gold. It says, who knew that success... Excitement and allure could just be sprayed onto you. Apparently, Taryn knew. So now she's a golden goddess, um, you know, in the uh, winter months here. What you call it? Uh, Kirsten got a little wish or a want to um, ice skate or skate on a pond with Marcino Chavez. Of course, we got to do that. Um, we'll go ahead and just delete the little want that she had for Casey. Taryn is feeling great. She is going to go compliment someone's appearance. Who is she going to compliment? <gasps> what? Are you serious right now? Yeah, good going, Adam. You better tell that hoe. Oh, thank you. Taryn learned that Adam is in a relationship with Latarasha. Okay, yeah, why would you do that? Seriously, who does that crap? You have a really hot boyfriend, and you're already thinking of... You just gave me the best idea ever, girl. Mm-hmm, high five. But anyway, that's kind of rude. I can't even believe she would seriously think of cheating on him. All right, so after she's done 
hoeing it up at the, the spa. We'll have her go go home. Should we have her go home? I don't know. Should we have her go home? Actually, she's kind of hungry. So let's have her go hit up a, um, a bar real quick. Let's see if we can find one. Um, the... Let's see, where is there one? Didn't I put one down? Okay, so we'll have her actually just go across the street to the ice lounge and maybe pick up something to eat. I'm going to check on Casey and Connor. Uh, Casey's actually reading a book. Connor just learned um, the fishing skill from the Tabcast, and now he actually wants to go fishing. So let's see how he's doing. He's used the restroom. Um... We'll have him clean the damn refrigerator. Oh, no, he can't because he's too young. He'll eat leftovers, though. He'll have some firecracker shrimp. Hopefully, he won't catch the house on fire because, believe it or not, that has happened. And Casey also um, wants to eat a little something something. Uh, we'll let her have the mm, pumpkin pie. And let's go see if Taryn is there yet. It looks like she is. Or she is not. She's Gina, actually going Gina, right now. She's clapping the hands, doing the boogie dance. Oh, Feel a little embarrassed for hitting on a married man. God, I can't even believe she'd do that. Mm. I don't know. I believed in you, Taryn. I really did. All right, so if she would just hurry on over sometime this year would be great. We'll go ahead and hit up the ice lounge. I don't know if the mixologist is here. Oh, wow. There is a lot of people. We, we, Kini. Um, Baze and Alma. All right, so let's just pick up something to eat real quick. We'll have a single serving of spaghetti. So we will have that. Cheap drinks. Happy hour has begun. Everyone is still at work. Uh, finally, actually, let's have Jake. Ooh, no, he can't work hard. All right, business, business, business as usual. He's actually um, earning some performance points here. Uh, her performance actually went down. Oh, and we did get a promotion, by the way. So now she's making thirty-two dollars an hour. But her performance went down because in part nine, she took the day off to do the feast party or whatever. And I guess one of the employees or whatever like totally oh. narked on her so her boss found out she really wasn't <laughs> sick and uh she got like um she got docked a couple of points so uh, they're eating <laughs> and connor is eating and they are dancing to no music because i actually have it off right now she got a plate of spaghetti i think taryn is so beautiful like seriously ah Look at her. Makes me sick. Kirsten's really pretty, too. And, like I said, Jake oh. likes them both. But Kirsten yeah. hasn't grown the cojones to say anything yet. So, I guess she's just going to have to have to deal with his her, his his girlfriend. I don't know. Anyway. Um, Casey can... Oh, she's already tired? What? Oh, she... No, no, no. Don't eat the stinky poop. Poo poo pie, pumpkin pie. So now all the fold, all the fold. I cannot Ooh. speak today at all, you guys. Sambo! Seriously. Ah! Okay, so all of the food is pretty much spoiled. Um, great. So we'll just have juice. Yeah, that works. Uh, and then let's have Connor be a doll and clean up um, the food, clean the sink, do some house chores, just because I don't think he ever has. Uh, we actually also um, got, what you call it, a uh, new bed because we actually had some money. I, the other bed was just too glitchy for me to handle. Um, Kirsten was told to get some meat out of the freezer, but the door closed on her. It was 30 minutes before someone heard Kirsten screaming. The boss was really apologetic, though, and hopes Kirsten, or Kirsten doesn't sue. <laughs> that would suck majorly. Uh, Kirsten has earned $137 today, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't know who she's talking to. So, actually, I wanted her to, um, let's see, go to the local market or a bookstore and shop for books so we can go ahead and pick up a couple recipes so we can actually learn how to make something more than, uh, mac and cheese. I think that would be nice. Um... Taryn is off the phone, so we'll actually have her come home because Jakey is on his way. 
Um, he, let's see what his performance looks like. So it looks like maybe tomorrow he'll actually be due um, for a promotion, which would be well, which would be great, and it's completely well needed, by the way. Finally, Kirsten's slow butt has arrived at the uh, bookstore. Um, while she's doing that, I had Taryn go home and queue up a whole bunch of interactions with Jake. Uh, Casey's actually going to hit the sack, and then Connor's going to grab some cake. <laughs> Poor kid. And, um, yeah, the same cake he had since his birthday. Uh, you would think that would actually go bad before anything else, but no, it really doesn't. Cake kind of lasts forever. And then after that, he will go... Um, to sleep and holy crap okay so let's go straight to the recipes um our current level skill or current cooking skill is only two so uh it's not very high but at least we can make a few things i know that taryn likes vegetarian chili um even though we really don't like her we could be kind of nice and try to make it for her uh also let's see can we make anything else we can make a mushroom om omelet and Oh, what's that? Really? Um, and then chili con carne. So all of these three recipes comes out to $100, which isn't too bad. So let's see. All right, so now that she's finished with that, we're going to call Marcino again. And we're just going to go ahead and chat with him just to kind of, you know, build our relationship a little bit. It's kind of late, a little too late to actually go over there. But uh, at least we can do is actually give him a little ring-a-ling. Let's just check on Jake and Taryn. She's still not home yet. Actually, she just walked through the front door. So they should be romancing it up here in just a second. I don't know what the hell Connor's wearing. He's always wearing this strange little outfit. <laughs> Definitely has a personality of his um, own. Let's see everyone's schedule and their next day off. Oh, so Kirsten's off Wednesday and Thursday, which is fantastic. So the next two days she can totally mm -hmm. enjoy her days off and maybe uh, get a little more oh, rantic, romant rantic, romantic with Marcino or, or even go ahead and fill out like, yeah, a dating profile yeah. or something. Yeah. And see if there's any eligible yeah. bachelors, you know, you know, trying to, trying to get down with her bad mm. self. Uh, Jake is off on Friday, and then because Leisure Day, uh, we'll have like a three-day weekend, which is very exciting. Um, Taryn isn't off till Saturday. <coughs> oh, that sucks. Mm. Um, yeah, so I don't know what the future plan is for Jake. I don't know if he's going to be a little more serious with Taryn. I don't even know if he's going to ask her. Well, he might um, consider marriage. I don't know. I don't know. Do we win a floor? It's kind of sad because I thought... You know, yeah. there's a thing going on between them, but I really don't even know what's going on. Um, Jake is just so, like, wrapped up with, I don't know, Taryn. It's kind of kind of obnoxious. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, he's actually decided he wants to go ahead and give her some flowers. Because I don't even think he was going to <laughs> originally. I think, And um, he wasn't down for that. But we'll go ahead and give her some flowers just because we really do actually care about her. Uh <laughs> She's going to compliment um, his athleticism. Mm. And then after that, he... Oh, he decided not to give her the flowers. What? We'll give her romantic mm. red flowers. It's and Kirsten nice. walks through the front door. <laughs> She's like, okay, not seeing anything here. Um, why are you wearing that? You wonder why Jake doesn't like you. Well, come on, lady. Oh. Let's go. Uh, we'll wear that one. So we're just gonna, uh, we're just changing her into her everyday wear. Why is she looking? <laughs> she looks like an old lady with that outfit. Okay, let's see. So she received her flowers. She's happy. We'll have her take a shower. Um, we'll take, have her take a quick shower. Uh, Kirsten here is going to change her outfit. And then ask about day to Jake. Um, she's gonna, <laughs> what is she gonna do? She's going to, mm, I don't know, flirt innocently, I guess, which is strange because she's never thought of doing that, but I don't know, she's getting a little testy seeing, you know, Jake with his girl and how he treats her and stuff. We're actually gonna take, um, the flowers that he gave Taryn and we're gonna 
just can we put them anywhere? Um, we're gonna set them on the the bed stand. Aren't you gonna flirt with him? What are you doing? Ugh, whatever. You're so boring, Kirsten. Go over there and flirt with your man, or you could lose him forever, girl. God damn. Seriously, is that cake slice more important? He is like waiting there for it, and she's just completely being a hooker. Come on, put the damn cake down. I ain't playing with you, girl. I ain't playing. No, she's really adamant about eating that cake. So, hopefully, okay. Now she can flirt. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh, kind of guard that. You all go. Uh, He's like looking at her like, you do this now? After I already have a girlfriend? What are you, crazy? Yeah, okay. So if you didn't feel embarrassed enough, you should now. <laughs> so we're going to let her eat her feelings and have that cake slice. Um, we're not going to worry about Jake being a stink bomb. We'll just have him actually just go to sleep. Um, she can sit here and contemplate her next move, what she's going to do. And after that, we will also have her go to sleep. Um, all right, so everyone is all cozy dozy up in their beds. I just realized Connor ages tomorrow, which is extremely strange. I feel like he just aged. Like, I seriously do. And he only has a grade C, so I can't even imagine, like, what kind of trait he's going to end up getting. But um, Casey, however, doesn't age until 11 more days. Uh, Kirsten ages in 15, so we definitely need to get on the bandwagon when it comes to moving on with our life. Uh, Jake ages up in 21 days. Seriously? They're that many days apart? Um, and then Taryn ages up in 22, so they're pretty similar in age. So. So I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will catch you all in my very next Let's Play. Bye.